That must be your brother! Hiroshi! You look starving. Let me grab you some food. You better be eating enough at uni. Yes, Mom. I'm eating enough. <laughs> <laughs> so how's university treating you? Oh, it's kicking my ass. <laughs> but I'm surviving. How's sophomore year? I've got a big test tomorrow. I've been studying all weekend, and so Mom thought a little movie night to get my spirits back up and make my brain no longer mush might be nice. Getting your spirits up. With spirited away. <laughs> Get it, get it, get yes, it. Mom. Very funny. <laughs> Come on, join us. Sure. You walked in, thought here we go. One look and I am all but sober. I forget that I've been here before. Man. Hey, uh, just wanted to come by to say goodnight, but I also wanted to ask, is there any development on your crush situation? Oh, well, not that much, but can you close the door first? So, tell me what happened. I will, but first you need to promise that you will never mention what I'm about to talk to you about to mom. Oh? What did you do? So, long story short, I went to a talk on yesterday. I saw her there because she had an event there and I think she ended up asking me out. Mom doesn't know I went though because I have a test tomorrow and I was supposed to be studying. Oh, not only do you have a crush now, but a rebel too? Oh, now you've changed. I should have never left. Oh, what would Mother think if she found out? Oh, she please don't tell her. It practically happened on a whim, so I didn't plan it or anything. <laughs> Calm down, Azumi. I won't tell her. Everyone has their moments. Sounds like things went well, at least, considering she asked you out. <laughs> yeah, she was so sweet. I had a lot of fun. I walked around the con with Mako, and we took pictures with Kenji. It was a great day. Until I had to return a car I stole, but that turned out not right too, I guess. You stole a car? Um, yeah, but I'll tell you about that another time. I need to sleep. Good night, hey, good night. You can't just. <laughs> Sweet dreams. <laughs> See you later. <sighs> Morning, Sleeping Beauty. Ah! Izumi, it's it's just me. <sighs> you scared the crap out of me. <sighs> Good morning, Kenji. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing in my house? I noticed you weren't at school this morning, and when I asked your friend Mako about where you were, she said she was worried you slept in and would miss the test. So she gave me your address, and I rushed over here to check on you. Which, did you know I live next door? Crazy, right? 
Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> How'd you get to my house, though? Oh, your mom let me in when she was heading off to work. Heading in for the project, and I told them straight up, I... Oh, well, hi, sweetheart. <laughs> you look familiar. Are you one of Izumi's friends? Uh, yeah, that's that's me. <laughs> Are you gonna check up on Izumi? The big test is today, and I think she's getting ready upstairs if you'd like to go see her. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Aisaka. Oh, please, call me Rin. I'd love to chat more, but I'm really in a rush to get to work. The power went out last night, and so my alarm didn't go off this morning. See you around, sweetheart. Okay, I'm back. Ah, uh, I see. Well, in that case, we need to move around to Ah, well, I see. Thanks for checking up on me. My alarm didn't go off, and so I probably missed the train. I'll turn to the station to hopefully make the next one. I, I I, can give you a ride. You can even change into normal clothes in the backseat to make it there sooner. Uh, are you sure? Yeah. Grab clothes and let's go. Uh, okay. I could have driven her, but it's none of my business. Just in time, girls. 30 seconds longer, and you would have been locked out of the classroom with an automatic fail. Thank you. Don't mention it. <laughs> <laughs>